Oh, it's a pig. Redux, 25%. More interpolation. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> come on. Ciao. My name is Max and in this channel we teach how to make fishing rods instead of giving you the fish. And today we should celebrate because we just reached our biggest milestone so far. 69 subs. Okay, this is enough of celebrating. Next time we will celebrate double 69 subs. And I bet it's going to be pretty soon. Come on, it's only 69 more, right? Now let's start this episode of Sound Design Sundays. By the way, it's sponsored by Vowel Form. More on that later. Today I am going to reveal Virtual Riot's secret technique, which transforms any sound into a yoink. Well, it's not that of a secret, and the sound will not be even that close, but still, I think we can learn something today. Two years ago, our beloved Virtual Christian Riot participated to Andrew Huang's Four Producers One Sample show and he transformed this piano sound into this yoink. He never did a full breakdown, but he showed us this. Bit crusher that creates this kind of oi, yo yo effect. And a few months later, he said this in one of his live streams. Go on Wikipedia and look up formant frequencies and then place your EQ points. Anything can sound like an A ah or an E or U. And this got me thinking, first of all, Let's understand vowels. A or an E or U. Vowels are produced by our mouth and they are different as the position and the shape of our oral cavity changes. That's because our oral cavity works as a sounding or resonant box. In a musical instrument, the purpose of such box is obviously to amplify the sound, but different shapes and materials also define its timbre by enhancing certain frequencies. Same goes for our mouth and each vowel, you guessed it right, has its own set of resonant frequencies, which are referred to as formants. So if we grab an EQ and boost those formants, the sound will be more similar to a vowel. Now, if you Google formant frequencies, as Christian suggested, you'll find this table on Wikipedia, but it's so disappointing I want to vomit every time I see it. So I went to see sound appendix and found this table, which is so complete, it makes me a pink fluffy unicorn dancing on rainbows. For this virtual right yoink technique, we have to achieve three things. Run our sound through formant filtering, downsample it, and as always, saturate the crap out of it. Now, there are different ways to approach the first step. You can grab Ableton's built-in Vowel EQ8 presets and fade between them, putting them into an effects rack, which is really bad sounding in my opinion. Another way, which is more likely used by Virtual Right himself, is to copy the parameters from these presets and map them to a macro, which is such a pain in the ass, I'd rather have it covered with abscesses. You can also use the parameters from the C-Sound format table to achieve different results. Or you can use Vowelform, a max for life device thought with the user in mind. So it's very user-friendly, it gives you full control over the effect, and it is super quick to set up. Let's check how fast its workflow is. Now let's add downsampling. The Ableton device for that is Redux. We'll put it after our format filtering and set the downsampling to 25 as Virtual Riot did. Now let's compare vowel form with standard Ableton's EQ. <laughs> and it's pretty much the same. I will stick with vowel form just for the sake of it, and I can tweak it later on if I need to. And last step will be OTT and saturation. I don't know how Virtual Riot approached this, but anyway, saturation is up to your preferences and it can change depending on the tune you're working at and obviously how it will fit. 
one eternity later. Fast forward, I did this little bit, which is not that great, but I guess I will show you anyway because I spent hours for this. And yeah, here we go. I told you saturation is done at personal taste and here I got my bowel form, obviously. Redux, um, I also automated a little bit of downsampling. It goes like from 27 to 25. Then I shaped a little bit with EQ8 our sound. I got rid of the high end and I got rid of the slow mid frequencies because I have different layers that compete for that space over there. OTT, auto pan, some transient shaper by kilohertz, some serum effects. And then I have this uh, smoothening rack, which is basically some Valhalla reverbs and an echo in parallel just to smooth out the harshness of the sound, you know? I told you it's not gonna be even close to what Virtual Riot did. I don't really know how he does this. Please, if you know any tutorial on that, let me know. I will be very glad to learn. And at the bottom we have this top layer, which is like a 303 uh, lead line, okay? Which sounds like this without foul form. And I added some vowels to our 303. It gives some movement and gives some interest in the sound. By the way, if you want to grab yourself a copy of Vowel Form, it's going to be out November 15th on maxforlife.com and on my Gumroad. Or you can get it right now by signing in on my Patreon and maybe ask for a new feature. Who knows, I may implement that as well because I have some time for tuning in those little details till November 15th. For more news and info, stay tuned on my Instagram, which is Max Coco Music. And yes, thank you for asking. Powell Form is actually my creation. So I basically sponsored my own video, <laughs> which is so dumb. <laughs> okay, but... <laughs> Come on, <laughs> it's done, but come on. I mean, it's okay. A few moments later. Yeah, there is another sound I would like to show you in which I used vowel form, which is this yeah. So basically it's again a wavetable instance. Now, if we add our vowel form to it, seems like it says yeah, yeah, okay. So that is very cool. Again, stay tuned uh, about Valform on my Instagram and I will be obviously releasing a video November 15th about all the features of this. So stay tuned on my YouTube channel as well. Come on, even if the idea behind Valform was actually to do this Virtual Riot Yoink Technique tutorial and I mean, come on, it's not the same sound and I... I tried all of them and I didn't manage to get the same exact sound. But come on, we're kind of ish in the same area, okay? I hope you learned something today. Uh, stay tuned about vowel form on all of my social medias and I will see you next time. Ciao. Okay, about this thing, which shoots stuff and I wanted to shoot it when I celebrated in my intro, but I guess everybody's sleeping right now, so I have to do it by myself, right? Okay, here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now I have to clean all this mess. <laughs> Oi, 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 o